Well, you've likely heard of them. Cases of people tampering with or removing their ankle monitors and then committing another crime. Well, now state legislators are trying to toughen penalties for those who cut off or otherwise damage those GPS tracking devices. As our Brian Burns reports, local authorities have mixed views about the effort to make new laws. Our system is already clogged with with a bunch of uh, backlog of cases and doing something like that is just going to make it even worse. However, it's a step in a direction to where they see there's a problem with tampering um, with GPS devices. William Shule is the director of Nueces County Adult Probation. He says the monitors do help keep track of the 200 or so people who have them in Nueces County, but there are too many to watch 24 seven. It's not going to stop somebody from doing something if they want to do it. Um, there are ways to circumvent it. Currently, there is no law against cutting off an ankle monitor. The proposed law would make tampering a criminal offense. Recently, authorities arrested Eric Lopez Berber, who had allegedly killed his wife and fled to San Antonio after he removed his ankle monitor. But Nueces County Sheriff John Hooper says ankle monitors are not the answer, especially to overcrowded jails and especially for violent prisoners. If they're prone to kill somebody with or without an ankle monitor on, I don't know that another felony for cutting an ankle monitor off is going to be that deterrence. In neighboring San Patricio County, their adult probation department averages up to only six ankle monitors in use at any one time, making it more useful than a more metropolitan area. San Patricio County Sheriff Oscar Rivera sees the effort as a positive. We think we are going the right direction. Both lawmen say the effort at a new law does point out the lack of funding for certain aspects of law enforcement across the state. Brian Burns, 3 News. All right, Brian, thank you.